South Africa's High Court to declare a decision to withdraw from the ICC unlawful. South Africa withdrew from the Rome Statute, sparking an outcry internationally. Even the UN has urged Pretoria to reconsider its move. Today, the DA is challenging the constitutionality of that move. Taking on the South African government, the DA believes it was unconstitutional to withdraw from the ICC. It says this was done without parliamentary approval. That might not carry much weight since the ANC has a parliamentary majority. The DA also emphasized the importance of the separation of powers between the executive and parliament. So the only way that this problem can be remedied is for this court to declare that the executive has acted unconstitutionally and to declare its decision invalid. Failing that, the decision to withdraw by the executive, taken without the concurrence of parliament, will remain in place and will have the effect. A full bench is presiding over the urgent application by the DA. Other applicants in the matter include, amongst others, the South African Litigation Centre, the Helen Sussman Foundation, and the Centre for the Advancement of the South African Constitution. They all substantiated how government faltered by withdrawing from the Rome Statute. Among other reasons, they say government withdrew from the ICC to protect Sudanese President al-Bashir's diplomatic immunity. You have to ask yourself, was their decision based on the true facts? What are the true facts? The true facts are that this concern by the government is focused on other ship. You know that the government's concern is effectively on one man. The legal teams have called on the North Gauteng High Court to declare government's decision to leave the ICC as invalid. This as there was no public consultation before the decision to withdraw from the Rome Statute was taken.